Yes, yes. So let's start off with the CFL. Um, you've been cashing like crazy on CFL. I follow your plays. Uh, we're talking about the Edmonton Elks and the Ottawa Red Blacks here. Give me a little rundown on this CFL matchup. Well, these are two bottom feeders, Allie. Uh, if this was a bowl game, we would definitely be calling it the toilet bowl. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, but I mean, that doesn't matter because we're looking at the spread. Who cares if, if the two teams are bad? Uh, right. The Elks, they're two and seven. Uh, they'll head to Ottawa to take on a one and seven Red Blacks team. Uh, as you mentioned, Ottawa is the favorite here. The total has been set at right around 47 and a half. Mm -hmm. Now, the last time Edmonton took the field, it lost. It played Saskatchewan. It lost by a score of 34 to 23. Um, quarterback Taylor Cornelius, he was just 13 of 23. He had 209 yards, zero touchdowns, one interception. He did have 86 rushing yards and two rushing touchdowns. Uh, Kenny Lawler was the other offensive standout. He had 106 receiving yards on six catches. Uh, Edmonton, though, it clearly has major issues on both ends of the field. It averages only 18.7 games. It allows 36. Now, on the other end of the field, uh, Ottawa, last week it faced, or in its last game, it faced Calgary. It lost by a score of 17 to three. Uh, Jackson Bennett, he, he had 30 yards on six carries. Nick Arbuckle, he was only 17 of 23 for 186 passing yards and two interceptions. Uh, I guess to their credit, the Red Blacks actually looked pretty good holding Calgary to only 17 points. But once again, the offense looked completely terrible. Um, Ottawa only averages 19.4 points per game. It's a little bit better on the defensive end. It, it allows 24.4. Now in the CFL, Ellie, there's only nine teams. So these teams see a lot of each other over the course of a season. But this is the first game of the year uh, between these two cellar dwellers. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to, what I think about this game is I just think that Ottawa is just not a good team to be favored by this much. Uh, the Elks have had a few, they had a few blowout losses earlier in the season. That's why their defensive numbers are a bit skewed here. Uh, I think this one will be decided in the final moments. And so for this play, Ali, I'm going to say grab as many points as you can and grab the least stenchy of these two teams. Go with Edmonton. <laughs> All right. Well, all that makes a lot of sense. Um, yeah, I mean, that's kind of just a rule of thumb when you have two crappy teams and it could really go either way. Just take the points. Just always take the points. At least you've got an advantage in your favor there.